hey fam welcome back to my youtube channel it's your baby girl ae the title of the series we're referring to today is in love all over again it was premiered 14 february 2023 has one season and eight episodes they are done for season one the season finale so we are expecting a season two soonest so we have creator as carlos montero this series is about Irene and Julio. After they met, they keep falling in love over and over again, splitting up, and then trying again. So now the question is, would they ever find true happiness? Would they ever find the ending that they are looking for? But while on that, we have our star cast as Georgina Amorous from Elite. If you have seen Elite, you will know who this lady is. And she's Irene, and we have Franco Massini from Rebel Day, and he played Julio. And we have other casters, Carlos Gonzalez, Blanca Martinez, and Albert Salazar. <laughs> These names actually sound so familiar if you've seen the movie Furage on my blog. So when this Spanish language Netflix original series started, I saw a great story. I was intrigued, but just in the very first episode, to see that it was a story in a story. And seeing Georgina from Elite, I think that was one of the reasons I wanted to watch it, even though I didn't really like her in Elite, but I wanted to see what stuff she was made of in another series. So that's why I jumped on it. I was actually really interested in this. Um, anyway, the casts are painfully disinteresting. Just so many plots that we're still trying to untangle. And the main cast, their love story just kept going here and there. Interest could not even be a prison to actually see. Anyway, the love all over again didn't necessarily do anything wrong. The movie didn't do anything wrong, actually. It's just generally mild. And it's just not really there. It's you know when you're seeing a series and in your heart of hearts you know that okay, this doesn't fit what you want. This it's it's not meeting the expectation you want. So that's how it was for me. And then talking about Irene trying to direct her short fit, Da, and Himene, and her other roommates, she was trying so hard, but it felt like. Okay, it was actually annoying that she saw someone and she just knew that, okay, the person had talent. And you yourself, you just knew in your heart that I don't have any talent. I'm this, I'm that. It was so annoying. And to see that she actually had a, her boyfriend and that. And it's, the entire relationship was interrupted by Julio, who she just who she met just at Madrid at the movie premiere. And she has no Fernandez for like a very long time. And it, it was just weird. Like, how did you go from... I think the part that actually pissed me off rather or she herself i mean now i'm actually judging the character not even the series right now i know you're on drugs after the accident and all and then your boyfriend was just in the sitting room and you decided that oh okay i'm going to sleep with this guy it's like why why would you even think about doing that but that is that and everything was just really fast because the story we're actually talking about Part of the story was in 2002 or rather in the 20s and the main story is in 2022 the time jump was actually really confusing because half of the time i was like how did you get here okay no 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 they are still here that's how I, but because there's always a write-up when they move they give the date and the month and the year but half of the time if you are actually watching paying full concentration and not reading the inscriptions or something you might actually get lost in a way so it was the time drop was actually confusing for me so everything was so confusing because it felt like there was no drama or no irony to the series it was just they felt like we're just living but i don't know why they had to have two plots maybe that's why there was a um 2000 and then 2022 but it was so so confusing because I, 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 apart from the fact that we're trying to have two years in one or two plots in one series but at least make us understand very well honestly it should have just had one straight story to remove any confusion that the um, viewers would actually see but at the same time i actually applaud the fact that the cast 
they actually look yo- younger and older in the sense that if you check the um, 2000s you will see that the difference is clear from when they came back in 2022 the difference was really 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 clear and that was really 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 good but even if i was still confused about what year we were in so my head just helped me fix a lot of things because when the time jump was going back and forth because there's some places that some things will happen and i'm like wait how did he get here but i still try to really understand my real annoyance though is the complete loss of romantic motivation which i felt while being in this series they weren't so annoying per se as individuals but their relationships to each other so clearly empty like really really empty but maybe just maybe because the romance or pd wasn't shown that the director and the creator didn't really show us they were always i feel like because they were always having meaningless sex to actually have an actual conversation that wasn't about work or they are lost it was absolutely nothing to catch on or even root for so it, it was just there upside down for me also going back and forth telling each other lies about themselves and also the fact that there was always a regular need to come up with a crisis with between Irene and Julio both of them breaking up getting back together it was so tiring to see but another thing why I really love the show is the fact that it showcases the lives of young people as a try over time to combine the complexities of fluctuating relationship and anxieties of actually being a young adult in the real world and also the attention to detail when we're seeing the early 20s they made everything correct there was no laptop just the desktops there was no phones when i mean phones android phones and all that it was just a normal nokia nokia phones or techno phones as it as it was or as it were in nigeria and all that but and then hearing the ring tune from the nokia I, what i was feeling it's actually a very familiar tune but i was literally saying to myself while watching the series like who still uses this then my head had not clicked that we're, we're not back to the 2020s we're seeing the 2000s so all that actually made me feel very like i really liked it and um the toxic relationship with Julio and Irene going back and forth, quarreling about things that shouldn't be, give, always insulting themselves at every given time. Like, I actually expected a lot from both of them, but seeing that they were not really open to have a conversation, I felt like it was just lost controlling the entire relationship. But it was quite clear that the premise sets like that, the way the season one ended because it's going to be a season two or rather they were setting the premise for a season two and that is what we are expecting and that's what we're waiting for but in all i hope they realize the true meaning of love and what it means to fall in love over and over again because if they don't it would be a real shame that they spent all their time going back and forth and they didn't have anything to show but in all this series is good it's it has some potential but i hope season two will be better and i i need the story to be better because it's actually not nice seeing how everything is playing out but i'm going to give this series a five over ten rating i am hoping season two does better but (laughs) yeah all right thank you so much for staying tuned please don't forget to like subscribe comment and always share love you always